and I'm going to do sort of a not very TV thing, and I'm going to read it to you in 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 its in uh, in totality. I'm going to read you the whole thing because this was I don't think you know about this, uh, but this was just posted online um, by a woman you might have heard of, whose name is Taylor Swift. Um, and she has posted this online along with a photo of her cat. And I'm going to read to you what she just posted. Quote, like many of you, I watched the debate tonight. If you haven't already, now is a great time to do your research on the issues at hand and the stances these candidates take on the topics that matter to you the most. As a voter, I make sure to watch and read everything I can about their proposed policies and plans for this country. Recently, I was made aware that AI of me, quote me, falsely endorsing Donald Trump's presidential run was posted to his site. It really conjured up my fears around AI and the dangers of spreading misinformation. It brought me to the conclusion that I need to be very transparent about my actual plans for this election as a voter. The simplest way to combat misinformation is with the truth. Then she says, quote, I will be casting my vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walz in the 2024 presidential election. <laughs> I'm voting for Kamala Harris because she fights for the rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion them. I think she is a steady handed, gifted leader, and I believe we can accomplish so much more in this country if we're led by calm and not chaos. I was so heartened and impressed by her selection of running mate Tim Walls, who has been standing up for LGBTQ plus rights, IVF, and a woman's right to her own body for decades. I've done my research and I've made my choice. Your research is all yours to do and the choice is yours to make. I also wanna say, especially to first time voters, remember that in order to vote, you have to be registered. I also find it's much easier to vote early. I will link where to register and find early voting dates and info in my story. With love and hope, Taylor Swift signed Childless Cat Lady. Um, I have to get your response to that, Mr. Governor. All those things, I, I am incredibly grateful, first of all, to Taylor Swift. I say that also as a cat owner, a fellow cat owner. Uh, <laughs> look, Swifties, you heard it. We know that it's there. That was eloquent and it was clear. And that's the type of courage we need in America to stand up. We've seen it out of those Republicans who were at the DNC. We've seen it out of women who would like to have their own personal lives kept personal, but are forced to go out there because they nearly died because they can't get abortion services in a pregnancy. And now you have somebody like Taylor Swift coming out, making that very clear. This would be the opportunity, Swifties. Uh, KamalaHarris.com. Get on over there. Give us a hand. Get things going. <laughs>